Hi folks. Uh, you have to kind of excuse the noise around here right now. Uh, it's 95 degrees out and I have the air conditioning on inside the house. Uh, but anyway, uh, what we're looking at here, this is an uninterruptible power supply. There's two 7 amp hour sealed lead acid batteries inside this unit. And I've already had it apart and I've already checked the batteries. I know they're good. The batteries are uh, wired in series. And uh, so we got a 24 volt power supply inside this thing. And I'm gonna hook my hook my my motor, my treadmill motor up to those batteries. And what I've done here, I've got an on-off switch, and I have a little potentiometer that I picked up at Radio Shack for $3.50. And we're going to see if this will spin faster than it did on 12 volts, because it really didn't spin too fast on 12 volts. So. Uh, I'm going to take this thing apart and access those batteries. I'm going to go ahead and hook this battery up, these two batteries, to my motor and we're going to see what happens. I, I got rid of the, uh, the potentiometer and uh, now we're going to switch it on, just with a switch. It's hard for me to say if that's spinning any faster. Uh, it really is hard for me to say. But I'm going to guess that it is. I think it is spinning faster. Uh, I think it is spinning faster. So this is a better look at the motor spinning. I'm going to switch it on again. And it is spinning faster and it's definitely more difficult for me to stop it with my hands. I haven't decided what kind of batteries I'm going to use. I'm going to uh, probably well, see, I, I have more than one way to go on batteries. Uh, it's difficult to say which is the best way to go. One's a little bit more expensive, but uh, the other way, the batteries are uh, a little cheaper, but they're smaller. It's hard to say which is the right thing to do. So I wanted to show you some of my possible choices for batteries. Uh, these are similar to the ones that are in the uninterruptible power supply. Uh, they're, uh, they have a little bit longer amp hour life so uh, I could get six of those batteries for a good price. And then uh, here this is a uh, I bought one of these batteries already and I, I like these batteries and the, that's a good price but it, it doesn't include shipping uh, it's another seventeen dollars per battery to ship these which is kind of expensive and then uh, finally this is uh, an e-bike conversion kit I could pick up it'd get me off the hook for trying to figure out how to work that motor and all that stuff because it has everything complete 
So that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching.